Now, uh, prior to this very day, there were um, announcements that uh, they were going to inaugurate the uh, film, or should I say, the film classification committee. And lo and behold, today it was done um, somewhere in Kanda. We were there. Very beautiful inauguration. The likes of Sukwit Safo, the Minister of Tourism, Arts and Culture, her deputy uh, were all in attendance. Some actors were also there, and uh, well, the members were inaugurated. Um, looks like um, Sukwit Safo is going to be the chairperson whom the minister actually nominated to take her position, and then uh, uh, the rest. I guess we get to do their work and uh, well our cameras were there we captured and uh, they had a lot to say over there well just so you know the 12 member film classification committee was set up by the governing board of the national film authority to regulate the exhibition of films in the country now the inaugural ceremony of the committee um, actually happened today at the accra tourism information center and the film classification committee is an instrument under the National Film Authority with the purpose of classifying all audiovisual materials such as movies, television programs and music videos among others for public viewing. To enhance the quality, to enhance the quality and classification of films to protect viewers in the best interest of the country. I strongly believe in the professional competence of the members of this committee to be chaired by an experienced industry player, Mr. Sukri Safo, whom I have nominated as my representative on the committee. <laughs> my expectation is that the outcome of the committee's work will resonate with the hopes and aspirations of the Ghanaian people and our culture. In view of the importance the ministry attaches to the work of the classification committee, as established by the Film Act 935 of 2016, I expect the committee will deliver its work with the technical and professional proficiency without any bias. I, to ensure that the film industry contributes effectively to job creation and economic transformation, and the National Film Authority we hereby declare the classification committee duly inaugurated. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, Mr. Safo, first of all, we would like to know what is the whole classification authority all about? Because, yes, uh, we've heard, as we, we said, there's FDA. We all thought they were in charge of most of these things. But now that we ha have all of this, can you give us a bit information about what you will be doing or your roles okay the classification committee has a simple job to make sure that whatever is on screen is there at the appropriate time for the appropriate audience if it's about children we guide what they should see if it's about other adults we give them what they should see Whatever content that is being put on screen, we make sure that we go by the prescribed regulations and put out what is appropriate for the public. This is simple. No imaginative activities. It's not about we going to imagine what we like or what we don't like. Everything is stipulated in the law. And it is what the law says is what the law is. With all of this, uh, one would ask, I've always heard, oh, it's um, things to do with TV, maybe the things that go on TV, but we are not talking about online. For instance, we are saying that there's YouTube, there's um, other channels. So what happens to these channels? Because if I don't put it on TV and I decide to go and put it on YouTube and YouTube doesn't bring it down, then what happens? Yes, unfortunately, whilst the bill was being debated upon, no one took cognizance of the effects of the new media, the YouTubes and uh, online matters. So within this particular law, Act 935, there is nothing about new media. So it's going to be very difficult. Uh, as we go along, I think that people would look through it and maybe go back to Parliament and enact new laws to take care of those. Mm. 
which is going to be a bit difficult for all of us, as you said, but uh, are we ready for the challenge that is going to come with it? Because now these days, a lot of the children have these devices. They can go on YouTube. They don't even have to watch TV. How, I mean, it's going to be very uh, difficult, and it's a serious matter. Uh, but if you see the magnitude of the problem, you can tell yourself the magnitude of the problem. How are you going to control millions of people using these devices and uh, people putting all sorts of material onto uh, social media? It's going to be difficult, but well, as humans, we need to just look and find a way to combat these things. I hope we do. Every parent at home is looking up to us because they've been complaining, my wife has been complaining, likewise my friends and my parents. So it's not just about somebody, it's about me, myself. I make sure that my family is protected so that your family will also be protected. All we need is just your support. We are, not, we are going to make a lot of enemies. Nobody under the sun wants to go by prescribed laws. We are going to make enemies. We have friends out there that per this law, we may step on their toes. All we are going to do is that we always have to apologize to them as our friends, but make sure that we go by the law. That's all. And with all of this, it includes not just the TV stations, but online, YouTube, whatever they put out there? Everything that comes in public domain, everything that is what the law says, is not just about TV. It says public screening. Public screening in any medium. So on the net in Ghana, we must make sure that whatever we are watching in Ghana. I know people are going to argue, but the internet is international. Yes, it's international. Go to Togo or wherever and watch whatever you want. But if you come in here, this is what we should watch at what time. If we know that whatever you are putting out there, based on time regulations, is going to be a challenge, what we do first is to protect the children.